So let's try Mecha Doll number two again. Let's see the question. Oh, Professor Birch. I was about to answer Poochiana, but it was but it's Zigzagoon. It was Poochiana, but in Ruby and Sapphire only. So now Mecha Doll 3, and it's the same question, and you're not gonna get me twice. They cost less. So let's see, Mecha Doll 4 now. An object of beauty. Trainer of schools. Oh wow! Whoa! Number how I'm gonna try one hey! <laughs> That I, I, I tried an answer at complete random, I was tempted by two, but it, I decided, well, maybe one, but it wasn't none, that's for sure. So now, Mecha Doll 5, it's gonna be the hardest, no doubt. So let's see the, the question, how many tree houses? Well, it's probably six. Had five been a choice, I would have answered five, but it wasn't there, so six was the next best choice, and it definitely paid off. But man, some of those questions are a bit tricky. It reminds me of, you know, in Donkey Kong Country 2, Noah Swanky's uh, quizzes. There was one quiz that asked something about uh, Carol's room in the very first stage or something like that. And I, I don't, I don't remember what the question was exactly, but, it, but I remember. Th that this question gave me a lot of trouble, and this was only in the first world, so that wasn't a very good first impression that guy left on me. So now that the trick house is done, we can go back to Mobile first so that we can change our bike since I forgot to do it before going to the trick house, and after that, we're gonna be good to go towards Lily Cove. And I'm going to make a pit stop at the Safari Zone on the way there because I'm going to need to catch a female Psyduck for that uh, breeding chain. Anyway, the reason I ultimately decided on making this uh, a double program, this is the second part of a double program for those of you who are not watching uh, in the week following the, the Mother Marathon, it's because, well, I wanted to bring that up because Wow! Just wow! How unlucky can you be in like one weekend? This is absolutely unbelievable. If you weren't there, I'm gonna give you the rundown. Chugga Conroy tried to do a run of Earthbound. He was going for the for the world record, from what I've been told, and fr still, from what I've been told, he was on his way to do it. And he his game crashed at the. Uh, the battle against uh, the, the department store spook at the Forside department store, and yeah, the game crashed, so he went to load the game after resetting, and when he went to ride the escalators that led up to the spook, well, the, the, the screen kept flashing, and the game sort of crashed, the screen flashed, but the music kept going, and then he reset again, and BOOM! Corrupted save file. So as you can imagine, he must not have been very happy about that, but the good news is that it led to an impromptu Skype call featuring Chugga Conroy and Proton John, and that was really funny. Perhaps the best part of the marathon, oddly enough. I'd like I'd like to see those two go at it again sometime in the future, and I think it's an opinion that's shared by just about everyone that was there. And it wasn't scheduled to be that way. Chugga wasn't set to commentate at all, even though some people really thought he was going to commentate. I remembered someone in the chat uh, on Friday saying, he is going to commentate tomorrow, and if he doesn't, I am going to kill myself. Uh-oh, main neck trick! This is not good for Skarmory because I think all its moves are contact moves, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to Gardevoir to, and Psychic it to Oblivion to avoid paralysis. I got it on the first try, thank you very much! And oh! Oh, Thunder Wave! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I tried to avoid getting paralyzed, but I switched straight into a Thunder Wave. I should really think those things through next time. But yeah, I'm not immune to blunders, as you can see, especially not while I'm talking. But, uh, of course, it was only... Oh! Future Sight? Well, I'm going to pass, thank you very much, because most battles don't last enough 
for future sight to even happen. But yeah, about that guy who threatened to kill himself if, if Chugga didn't commentate on Saturday. But he wasn't scheduled to commentate, he was just scheduled to play the game without commentating because you don't do a world record run by talking at the same time. Though uh, I imagine a game like Earthbound would be a bit more permissive in that aspect. So that guy just narrowly avoided having to kill himself for our enjoyment. And oh well, a cast form and it's raining so we're, we're gonna get to see one of its alternate forms, not that it's going to help it much because it's gonna die just like the rest. So yeah, as you can see I'm using a return a lot now that I know that its power is just about maxed out. And oh, jeesh! Form survived that return and ouch! 30 damage from that weather ball and it was neutral on top of that Ox Carmory's questionable special defense, but as I said, it's another blunder for the day. Two blunders in the same video, that doesn't happen very often, but it's not like I don't think Fly or Steel Wing would have killed it anyway, so it's no big problem. Anyway, after that aborted Earthbound run, they decided to postpone it and they moved on straight to Mother 3 and they made it all the way to the almost Mecha Lion, the Chimera Lab, and they lost that battle and so they reset the game and SURPRISE! Corrupted save file again! What are the odds of that? Two corrupted save files on two different games on two different consoles in two different states as part of the same event, no less. So, I don't know how they managed to salvage it because I missed that part. I heard they went and found a, a save file from somewhere else that was in the Chimera lab as well. And there was one problem though, and it was that the characters' names, well, to say they were messed up, it's an understatement, as well as the name of PK Love. Everything was messed up, the, everything that you can type in at the beginning of the game anyway, be it the characters' names or the name for PK Love, and I won't hide it, they look like Missing No. It literally Missing No in Mother 3. But at least the good thing is that it allowed them to move on and the next day on Sunday Chugga tried to do another run of uh, Earthbound on a computer this time and he got up to the desert between the uh, Threed and Four side and the computer overheated. Three failures in the span of less than 24 hours. Wow. <laughs> I honestly could not believe that uh, this bad luck streak would continue after everything that happened with Mother 3, but Chugga's computer overheated and it, he wasn't able to continue afterwards, so they just went on. Phil did a casual sort of run of Earthbound, uh, well, not a blind run, thank god, but it wasn't as much of a speed run as Chugga's world record attempt. I don't know if he's going to attempt it again in the near future off camera or something like that, but I'm sort of hoping he does because in that kind of thing, you just can't let technology win. It's mankind's duty to show those machines who's boss. And I'm hoping he gets that world record, and by an hour. Because after all the effort he's put into preparing that run, it's just not fair that he should just let two consecutive fla players, failures, sorry, get the best of him. So that's gonna be it for today. Next time we're gonna continue the path to Lily Cove.